Hey everyone, this is Just a Tech and welcome back to the channel. So today's video is all about MacBook that having the T2 chip and we will see that how we can extract the user info from those Mac in this video. And this method support the latest iBridge OS version that is the 7.6 at the moment and also supported the latest Mac OS version Ventura for the T2 Mac that having the Intel chip. And now let's talk about which MacBook condition of the screen is supported for this process if your macbook is on the pin or password or login screen that is supported or if you have a macbook that is on the efi firmware that is also supported or if you have a macbook that is the open menu that you can access full mac that is also supported or if you have a macbook that is on the lost screen that is also supported and now let's talk about what mac screens are not supported so if you have a mac that is on the hello screen or icloud log that is not supported or if you have a mac that is on the internet recovery or the earth icon recovery or you can say already erased or formatted mac that is also not supported to generate the user info and the supported model list is the t2 mac i already mentioned in the starting the mac that having the t2 chip is basically the intel mac are supported with this process so you can check out the supported model list on the screen so these are all the important information you need to take care of that before doing this process so now let's see the practical process all right on the left side there is a mac it's on the password login screen it's my own mac but for this video i will just take it as a example to show you guys how this things will work so it's my own mac and obviously i know the password but in your case maybe you forget it or you bought a second end device and you accidentally lock it so in that case it will help you now first of all you need to connect both these macs with the type c cable i recommend you to use the type c cable because it gives you more fast response and the good connectivity if you use the type c to usb cable maybe in some cases you will see ssh not found that is something related to the connection between both these macs so best you can use the type c cable and good quality cable and then everything will good so let me just connect both this mac and make sure you connect both this mac's type c cable with the closest port and as i mentioned it's my own mac so i know the password of this mac but for this video i'm just showing you the account is exists in this mac so we will fetch the user info in that you will get the full name and the email that is available on the target mac to the source mac and for security reason i hide my email on the system now after all this you have connected both this macs with the type c to type c cable and the internet is good on the another mac now you need to download the hfz t2 user info tool you can download it from the description link or go to my blog and you will get all the download links there. After the download you can simply install it on your system. This tool is only available for Mac so you need a secondary Mac to install it. Now after you set up both the Mac and the both Mac are connected with the Type-C cable. Next you need to put your MacBook into the DFU mode that is the locked one. From that you need to fetch the user info. So put the MacBook into the DFU mode. Now for the instruction it's very simple or you can also google it like how you can put the T2 Mac into the DFU mode. You will get many articles there. Still for your reference I will put the images with the steps like how we can put the MacBook T2 version into the DFU mode. So you will get some help. So after you ready just press the DFU button key so let me just press it on my Mac. Now once your MacBook is in the DFU mode, you will see the ECID on your HFZ tool. So that is very important so that first you can register your device so that you can use it. So to register your ECID it's very simple. 
copy the ECID that's showing on the HUZ tool and then just send it to me with your model number. You can contact me on my personal telegram for the direct registration. All the social media handle links and the telegram links are in description and on my blog so you can check them out. Now once your device is registered you are ready to use the tool. Now next click on the get t2 user info button on the HFZ tool. And you will see the exploit running on their locked computer with the checkmate exploit. So just wait for it to get complete. Do not disconnect your device. Now once it will done, you will get the dialog box with the T2 user info from that log macbook on the HFZ tool. So you will get the full name and also the email id that, that is linked with that device. For obvious for the security reason I have to hide the personal information. But I will just post the picture so that you will get the idea how it will work and how it's showing the information. Alright so now I have told you each and every step like how you can get the owner info from your T2 Intel Max with HFZ T2 user info activator. So you can also try this and easily get the useful info from that map. That is very helpful if you have a second end device or you want to contact the previous owner or if it's your own device it will helpful to recover your own details. And if you are more interested in the MacBook tutorials like iCloud Bypass on MacBook T2 chip or EFI Bypass on the MacBook T2 Intel chip or the MDM Bypass on any macOS version, you can check out all these videos on my channel or some videos are on my second channel that is just a tech 2.0. So just check out this video description link, you will get all the video links there. So that is all for this video, don't forget to subscribe my channel and also make sure you hit the like button on this video. I will see you in another one, so till then goodbye, take care and peace out.